Hi everyone. Today let's try to solve another problem on projections of lines. It's the fourth problem. We have the question like this. A line AB has its end A 20 mm above the HP and 15 mm in front of the VP. The other end B is 60 mm above the HP and 45 mm in front of VP. The distance between end projector is 70 mm. Draw its projections. Determine true inclination and apparent length. Now let's try to solve this problem on the software. We'll take the line, normal line. We'll draw the XY line first. We'll name it in caps X and here Y, VP, HP. So once we name it, we'll place the text wherever it is necessary. VP and HP. Now in the question, they have mentioned the line is about 20 mm and 15 mm in front of VP. So first, I'll draw a reference line. I'll take the hidden reference. I'll just randomly draw a line. If this method doesn't work, you have to draw the dummy line and then draw it. So now we'll take the dimension. The dimension between this point is 20 mm. And here between this point is 15 mm. So now we have this dimensions of the reference end 20 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. Now we'll mark a point that is we'll draw a normal line stating that the line is going to start from this position. Then we have the points for the end effectors that is the end effector I'm going to draw this line and the distance between these two points is 70 mm. Here, the distance between these two points is 70 mm. Okay. Now, later in the question, they have mentioned that the other end B is 60 mm above and 45 mm in front of VP. So now, I have to draw another reference line. I'll draw another reference line out here. Till here, I will draw it. Same way at the bottom. Till here I will draw it then now the distance between these points that is from the XY to this point here it is 60 mm and in the same ways from XY to here the distance is 45 mm now let's try to do it so that is this particular point is a dash and here it is a We'll place it at the point. Now, in the question, he has said that if you see the question, the other end B is 60 mm and end project is there. They haven't specified the length of the line. So, here we'll take the line as visible line. We'll draw the apparent length first. So, rather than drawing it here in this way, make sure you try to trim the end so that we get the end of the line. Then we'll draw it now from here to the end of this line as visible line same as from here till the end of this line. So now we have the apparent length. Now we have to find the true length. We'll do the dimensioning. So the apparent length in the top view, you get it as 80.62 and in the front view, sorry, in the top view, you get it as 70 and front view it is 80.62. 6 to now we'll take the arc by center command okay and from this particular position to the end of this line we'll draw an arc till here this particular thing has to be in normal we'll change it to normal then we'll project the line downwards from the end of this line till here okay and further it comes down till here and from here I'll change the line and from this tip to the tip of this line. This gives you the true length in the top view 86.2. Now, in the front view, same way we are going to do it from this particular end to the end of this line, we'll draw the arc and from there, we'll project the line upwards till here and from there till 
here now we'll measure the distance and the true length is 86.02 you can see the true length in the front as well as in the top front as well as in the top it is both are same now we'll finish the namings here i have to give it as b this particular point is b and this particular point is b2 and here it is b1 dash and this is b dash we'll place it at the right positions where we need this point is here and this particular point i'll keep it here now we'll measure the angles angle between the true angle they have asked us to find in the question we have asked us to find determine the true inclination and apparent length so the apparent length are 86 and true angles that is theta and pi so you have theta as 28 and pi as 20 these are the dimensions that we have and this actually completes our problem number four